Tucked inside the walls of your house are all the pipes that bring water from the street to your kitchen, your bathrooms, your washing machine, and even your water heater. Now, if the temperature outside drops below freezing and those pipes aren't well insulated, the water inside can turn to ice and burst a pipe. Like this. Even a small hole like this can release hundreds of gallons of water and cause thousands of dollars worth of damage. Here's what to do if it happens to you. First thing, if a water pipe bursts in your home, stop the water flow. Turn off the water at the main shutoff valve. Every member of your household should know where your main shutoff valve is located. Typically, it's on the front wall of your basement next to a vertical copper or PVC pipe. If you live in the south, it may be on the outside of the house near the meter. Older homes often have a gate valve. Turn it to the right. If you have a ball valve, it will turn just a quarter turn to the right. When the handle is parallel to the pipe, it's open, perpendicular, it's closed. Be safe. If there's any standing water in your house and the electric service is still running there, contact your utility company to turn the power off. If you foresee water damage to wood floors, drywall, or ceilings, a certified water removal company can help you avoid future problems like mold buildup. If your appliances have been submerged, components can sustain damage even if they appear to dry out later. So you may have an insurance claim. Next, contact your insurance company. It may be able to supply options for water removal services it works with who can respond quickly. And there are a few final steps to prevent more damage. First, pipes are avoidable. When the temperature approaches freezing, keep your thermostat set to the same temperature day and night. A cold snap is not the time to save a few bucks on your heating bill. Leave the sink cabinets in the kitchen and bathroom open so warm air can reach the pipes against the back wall. Also, open a few faucets overnight. Just a drip will do. The flowing water brings warmer water into the pipe, reducing the chance of freezing. An open faucet also relieves the pressure downstream of a frozen point, reducing the possibility of bursting another pipe. For the long term, insulate pipes anywhere they might be exposed to cold. That could be in a cold basement or along exterior walls. Pipe insulation runs about 50 cents a foot. Cheap prevention for an expensive problem.